What up guys, James back here, and listen, we're going to try a different series. I wanted to essentially watch some of your edits, your AMVs in particular is what we're going to do today, and hopefully not get a copyright strike. If you're new to the channel, you may not know this, but I'm actually a professional editor. I've been editing for now 13 years. I've done a variety of different work, including corporate on movie trailers. I've edited movies before from music videos, documentaries, just everything under the sun. So the whole point of today is I'm not here to necessarily make fun of you. I just want to see how you're editing is and basically offer some tips on how you can improve so let's check out a first example this is an AMV for attack on Titan okay so right off the bat uh, one thing you got to be really careful of when you're using audio clips from these movies and shows is of course sometimes the sounds and the soundtrack can kind of interfere so right now we have the music from the first episode of well episode one of season four of attack on titan it's coming through here and it's kind of clashing a little bit with the song so in my opinion you either find a clip that does not have music that's going to that's going to essentially clash with the music you already have or just don't include whatsoever it's a nice way of just polishing it and making sure everything is clean and also don't worry about having the logo of the software they're using i mean it's, these are fan amvs right so just <clears throat> we can cut you guys a little slack Okay, so one thing I'm noticing right away is I get that you're trying to do the fade to black thing on the bottom, bottom, bottom. You really gotta make sure that you're emphasizing where those beats in the music are. So if I were to bring this say into um, my software, one of the first things I would do is I would go through the music track, or in this case, the song, and I would literally leave a mark for every time there's a beat. So bottom, 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 ba, 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 ba. So then when I edit, I make sure that every time I cut, I'm on those beats because it's a really nice way to really emphasize those beats. It really brings everything together and makes those edits and cuts a lot more powerful. I like the tone. Um, it does need a little more cleaning. So I get where you were going for with the sound effects, my man. So you got to be careful with the sound effects that they are also emphasizing the beats of the song. I love how you include the song because it just adds a lot more to the tone and the chaos of Attack on Titan. So you got to make sure that they're emphasizing. So if someone fires a bullet, boom, that it takes place on the same beat of the song. God. Right, And you also have to be very careful on what sounds you use. So, you know, wine being poured may not necessarily be appropriate when you're trying to emphasize a beat, but when you have sword slash or guns or someone getting bashed or something like that, I would even save the explosion for the end of a phrase. Overall, very nice, my man. Very, very, very nice. And by the way, I'm going to be including the links to these videos down in the description below. Please go and support the creators because I'm basically just interfering and poking around. All right, the next one is from Demon Slayer. Same song. Right, so right away. Okay, so right away, it sounds like this guy is using a little more of a slowed down, reverbed version of God Rest Mary Gentleman. I'm actually going to turn this up a bit, which is great because the song sounds very haunting, which can actually work for Demon Slayer because it's a little bit scary. All right, so that was already a really, really good example. So you notice how every time there's the sound effect, it's on the beat. He even this guy even goes a little bit further and has multiple beats lined up, like ba da da bum. Right, it's nice. It's almost like he's playing the drum. Right, did you see what he just did there with? What's his face? And that's who I think it is. Did 
Did you see that? But the bum, but the bum. I like it. I love when you can use the edits and the sounds to essentially kind of add an additional beat. It's awesome. That was really exciting. Thank you very, very much. All right, next one, we have AMV for Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc V using the song Comatose from Skillet. Actually, this is an AMV for Arc V and Zexel by XX Fusion Princess XX. Comatose. I'll never wake up without an overdose of you. So a couple things here. So again, we want to make sure that when we cut, it's on the beat. Comatose is another good song that you can edit to because there's a drum, right? So let's get to the drum beat again. So. Yep. I'm in the middle of a video. You're in what, sorry? I'm in the middle of a video. Again, we want to make sure that we cut on those beats. Be careful when you're using really, really long clips because it can drag on a little bit. You can use long clips between the beats. One of the things I love about this music video is the color change in this. I've seen ArcV, so I know what the colors are supposed to be. What's great about Yu-Gi-Oh! ArcV is it's actually probably the darkest series in the entire franchise, and this really emphasizes that. Also, I noticed that you sped it up. You're allowed to change colors. You're allowed to make things slower or faster as long as it gets the mood across and as long as you're really emphasizing those cuts and those points. Notice how there's a lot of energy in these cuts. Everyone's moving. There's a lot of flow. It's really good for the song. If it was just stuck on a single person and they're just kind of staring into the abyss, it really wouldn't fit, but everyone's moving. There's a lot of energy. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. This time, let's check out a GMV. This is Rise from Delta Art. Welcome to the world, no heroes and villains. Welcome to the war we've owned. So, I'm gonna say this again. You really want to make sure that every time you hear those beats, that's where a cut goes. Welcome to the world, no heroes and villains. Welcome to the war, we've only begun. So pick up your weapon and face it. Either a cut or some sort of action. Don't let those go loose. So right now there's a very clear sort of beat going on in the background. Every time I snap, that's where a cut should be. That was a good moment. I love how it said, like, I'm running and chasing, and they're running and chasing. Yeah, so I mean really the biggest suggestion that I would have is make sure you're cutting on those beats And I would even challenge you when you're using a song to make an AMV I think there should be some sort of a story. So what's the story that you're trying to tell, right? So I challenge you to look into that a little bit from Thomas Lord of the Rings Warriors So already, so there were three cuts you could have used to make to match the music. Instead, you took a huge clip from the movie. The, the reason why that's a bit of a problem is because obviously the cuts from the movie are not gonna line up to the song because that's not what the cuts were there for in the first place. Make sure you're taking charge of where you want those cuts to be. You can take liberties to make sure that in that first part, the ba ba bum, change it to something else.
I would even say that would be a perfect opportunity to maybe go into a transition, like a fade or a fade to black even. So every time there's that, there's that bump, it goes into a new song. What you don't want to do with these AMVs is you don't want to essentially make your audience watch the movie with a different song. That's not what an AM, that's not good editing. Take control and really make it your own. We're going to continue watching Lord of the Rings AMVs, but I want to show you, we're going to go back to Genjin Impact because someone did an AMV for this song that really proves my point. Watch this AMV and notice where the cuts are and how this person is using is really manipulating to the song. Right, so this guy is even using faster edits. As a child, really good. It fades to black and then boom. Really makes her feel very dark. I love it. Now, notice how this person did not actually use a cut on that, you know, work while we all play, that boom on play. This person didn't do a cut. This person did an action where that thing burst on Lumine or whatever. That's fine because you're using actions or a cut to emphasize a beat. It looks cool, like here. And you Right, so you can use a cut or an action to really emphasize a beat, but don't leave us just kind of wandering off with a video while the song is giving so much energy. Now watch this next section. This is really done well. You noticing how he's this person's either using a cut or some sort of action to emphasize these beats. Really, really well done. Okay, back to Lord of the Rings. Let's try this. This is War Tribute Music Video by Adisa Adisa. Let's see what your editing is like. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. So that video clip that you used of Galadriel saying, you know, her lines, I would have cut that clip off shorter. So the, the moment she finishes the last line, just immediately fade to black. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. Or immediately you sort of fade the audio out because the music that's there is kind of clashing with the song that you're trying to build up. But I really love the energy and the tension that you're creating in that opening. So I love what you're doing here. Like as soon as that guitar comes in, you're trying to bring in so much energy with all these action. I like that. What I personally would have done, not that you did anything wrong, what I personally would have liked to have seen 
is for you to cut between, yes, a lot of the action, but a lot of the reaction. Like when you have characters who are fighting, but they're afraid and then you cut or you cut to someone who's afraid or you do some fighting and then everyone's just shocked or just like trying to grasp onto what happened. That's what I would have done. So you have like action and quick stuff and then you give us a moment to pause and reflect on what's going on and then more fast energy and then we pause for something else. It's okay to mess around with the flow and the timing and stuff. This is what really good editing is about. You kind of want to find that balance, right? So trailers are a good example of this. Fast edits, a moment to breathe. Fast edits, a moment to breathe. Now, I also do like that you're trying to emphasize certain moments to certain parts of the song. So I know that you're cutting to the singer. I think you gotta be careful and make sure you find that balance where yes, there's moments you can cut to the singer. I'm also noticing there's a lot of moments where I'm just seeing clips and I'm hearing the clear beat of the song. So you gotta ask yourself, what's the most important part of this moment in the music that I gotta emphasize? Is it the words or is it the beat? You also need to be very careful when you're using words because the problem is like I'm your eye is looking at the subject of the of the frame but then there's text in the corner like in this example here I want to look at the character who's right dead in the center but then there's text in the bottom right corner I liked it when you brought the text closer to the center because then I don't have to move my eye too much you gotta be careful because I feel conflicted that I want to look at the subject and then it's kind of flicking towards the text. All right, so I hope you can take away something from this. Again, like I'm not here to make fun of you guys. I just want to see you guys do the best work that you can and offer you those tips. I don't really see a lot of editing tips online unless it's for like YouTube videos and stuff like that. So I hope you can take away something from this as something you can use when you're editing your AMVs, your GMVs, whatever it is. So if you got value out of this, please make sure to like this video and subscribe because you know what? I might just do another one of these if it helps you guys out. Again, if you have an AMV or a GMV that you want me to check out and maybe give you some tips, leave it down in the comments and I'll try and check it out as soon as I can. Make sure you stick around because I got lots of great videos coming later this month and the next month, okay? So good luck with your videos, just have fun with it, and I'll see you next time.